Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would be explaining what are the modes of heat transfer and uh, I will explain in brief all those mechanisms. And before starting with the video, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button below. Also press the bell icon adjacent to the subscribe button to get notification from this channel. Do follow me on Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter. All the links are given in the description below. Do watch my other videos. Many of the links are given in the description. If you find this video helpful, please press the like button. If you have any doubt, feedback, suggestion of a topic, please mention in the comment section below. Do share this video on social media. And uh, now starting with the video, modes of heat transfer. So heat transfer that can be by three modes, conduction, convection and radiation. Now conduction is a mechanism in which presence of medium is necessary that is it can take place between gas and gas liquid and liquid solid and solid solid and liquid solid and gas any but presence of medium is very much necessary that is conduction it is because of the heat transfer between the molecules at the molecular level and uh, the kinetic energy possessed by the molecules they subsequently transfer their energy to the neighboring atoms and molecules and hence the heat is conducted so this is known as conduction now second mechanism it comes it is called as convection now convection basically is a part of convection basically constitutes of conduction and one more is called advection now convection is the sum of conduction and advection now for simplicity you understand that convection it occurs between two medium and medium is required between them for conduct for convection and the molecules that take the heat they because of the density difference there are convection currents developed because if the density is low it will rise and the heavier it will come down so there will be formation of currents and because of the these currents there is the transfer of heat from the hot surface to the cold surface it basically occurs in fluid that is in liquid and gas it does not occur on the solid occur in the solid it occurs only in liquid and gases convection either it can be, be between liquid and liquid or liquid and gas or gas in gas all right now radiation third comes the radiation radiation is a mode of heat transfer which do not require any medium radiation can even occur in space where is the where there is no medium and radiation is a electromagnetic wave you can understand electromagnetic wave just like the sun rays which do not require any medium for propagation and because of the temperature radiation occurs because of the high temperature and conduction and convection they occur even at low temperatures but radiation occurs at higher temperatures it is more dominant at higher temperatures and conduction convection and radiation both uh, these three all obey different laws now conduction law it was given by Fourier so heat transferred by conduction is given by minus K into A into dt by dx where K is the thermal conductivity in watt per meter Kelvin A is the cross sectional area about which through which the heat is conducted dt by dx is the temperature gradient where dt is the temperature change and dx is the length across which the heat flows all right now convection convection heat transferred by convection it is given by h into a into delta t or we can say h into a into dt where h is the heat transfer coefficient and its unit is watt per meter square kelvin a is the area surface area now here a is the surface area in conduction a is the cross sectional area this is the difference now a is the surface area delta t or dt is the 
temperature difference between the two medium and radiation heat transfer is given by sigma a t to the power 4 now where sigma is it is the stephen boltzmann constant that is 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 watt per meter square kelvin to the power 4 a is the surface area t is the temperature of that surface from which the radiation is transferred now these were the three modes of heat transfer i have explained uh, a bit briefly and in the subsequent lectures i would i would take each and individual topic then i would explain it completely along with numericals i hope you have found this video helpful please press the like button if you have found this video helpful and do mention in the comment section below if you have any doubt or if you have any suggestion for the topic do watch the other videos many of the links are given in the description also on your screen four videos are appearing so you can watch any of them if you have not yet subscribed please press the subscribe button to stay updated from this channel and share this video on social media on facebook whatsapp etc and till next time take care bye bye thank you